let's get rolling. This is Dark Horse Golf Club. This is the front nine. The things are flipped because I didn't film the beginning of this all that well. The first hole is really hard because that hazard that runs down the right actually is just on your right, but the sight line makes it feel like it's the whole fairway. So it takes some experience. There's big mounds, and then there's water in front of the green, which you didn't see. Thank goodness I didn't film my first couple of shots because they were pathetic. The first shot stayed in play. The second one is in that creek. Tried to find it. Couldn't find it. Just dropped a ball right here just to keep it moving. Hit a decent shot right there. And this is when I learned how tricky the Dark Horse Greens are. They're top notch, but they have a lot of different breaks in them that make it very hard for a first time player to have a lot of success here. Once again, avant-garde filming, there's bunkers strategically placed on this uphill. It's a very short hole. It's about like 310 yards. It's a very beautiful hole. It plays uphill, so it's probably about 340. I hit a pretty good three wood up there and gave myself a short yardage caught this thin not the best swing but i got a great result so that's what you call a good miss and you're going to see that but there's just a ton of bunkers that really play as the hazard on this hole in otherwise what's a very short and gettable hole the pin is all the way in the very back and i actually got that all the way back there and once again i felt like i made a good stroke and the greens are just very, very tricky. There's just a lot of break, and there's also a lot of breaks I didn't see. They actually sometimes broke. So this is a lot of what the course is too. It weaves around a housing complex of sorts, but it also feels like a golf course, so it doesn't feel like that. Once again, avant-garde angle, 210 yard par three, give or take, from the blue tees, there is a marshland hazard you have to force carry there's a bunker to your right there's a bunker to your left i hit it into the bunker to the left because i haven't quite dialed my five wood swing in but i'm pretty confident that i'm gonna dial it in caught a little too much ball there and this was a rough hole for me because now i'm coming back and i was lazy that was just a my fault i just took the lob wedge i didn't really want to play a lob wedge shot there and then i missed my bogey putt so double bogey and then this is a fun fact they they told me in the the in the course a lot of people don't finish 18 here they'll drink nine drink beers play nine and then they'll just go and hit range balls and my scorecard actually had people like someone else's score on it and i was wondering if someone just like gave up and then like they didn't look at the scorecard and stayed on this is a very tricky hole many holes at dark horse if you miss right, it's death. This is a par five. It's the second hardest hole in the golf course. And it's basically, if you miss right, you're in trouble. That's the whole concept of the hole. Wasn't my best three wood, but it wasn't a bad three wood. As you can see, just a ton of bunkers, a ton of trees, and you, the big right miss is a big fat no-no. You can see me by that oak tree. This is another avant-garde angle. I hit a super money gap wedge here. I actually get props from I should have left that in the group in the that was playing the other hole actually gave me said good job and that was kind of sick because it was like maybe maybe you can hear it I don't know put it to the back of the green and once again here's a bunker on the the back edge you can kind of see some of the false front and this green it's just hard to know where to, the ball is gonna break so just big time putting woes here but i don't feel like it was based around bad putting i feel like my putting is is solid right now but i just feel like i never got comfortable reading these greens this is a very long par four but not unlike pasa tiempo number 10 if you get to the speed slot you're going to get an extra 50 to 60 yards i just came up short and now is when you're going to see a lot better filmed stuff there's water all down your right hand side there's water to your left by the green water behind the hole it's really actually a beautiful hole when you get green side tried to hit this five iron in double cross you know what that means not a good shot i missed my approach shot but i was right in front of the bunker and i actually hit a money lob wedge and gave myself this for par and i stroked that really well 
and it was just a little wet so it didn't go in but that was basically going to drop really really awesome the way this hole looks it's just so awesome and then i just love the feel of this hole just standing over this just looking at what you're hitting to and then just taking one of those big fat divots it's such a good feeling you know and just look at this marshland it's just a scenic beautiful hole this is like what i envisioned martis camp being if i ever played it just exotic mountain golf that's exclusive and then there's bunkers all to the right put this to about 10 15 feet was super pumped thought i made this and it just broke off on me at the end and that was a bummer because i thought i thought i was going to get some strokes back i was actually kind of struggling to start early and just settled for a par but at this course it's this is kind of a course where until you really know how the greens break or you have a feel for the greens, it's going to be hard to make a lot of birdies. So anything to the left is death. And then there's a water hazard to the right, which you're seeing right now. And then there's a bunker right there. So super target golf. I put this into this bunker. Watch the birds, though. That's pretty sick. And then just hit a terrible shot. But it's okay because I really just wanted to hit the ball 100 yards because I didn't really have if i hit it further than 100 yards golf iq here i would have given myself more than 100 yards in and that would have been a weird hybrid gap shot so even though i missed it that was fine look at the use of bunkers look at the water all down my left hand side elegant i hit a draw on command i thought it was going to come back to the hole just wanted to stay right, did not want to go left at all because left was death. And then I just tried to film something that looked kind of cool so you guys could get different types of angles. And thought it dro I thought I made another one on back-to-back -back holes. I really thought I made it, and it just dog-tailed me, on me at the end. And Really cool looking back on this golf course. Really an underrated golf course. It's really stunning the beauty when you're up there like it's just a really beautiful golf course to play I think it's just really really enjoyable so I hit that one into that water hazard that I didn't even know was there then this nine iron uphill was right on line it's a three-tiered green I went right at it and I thought I made it but I actually flew it maybe two feet by the pin and that's that. This ninth hole, I played with someone real quick. Can't miss right. Those are the concepts off the tee. Hit this eight iron up. Thank you for watching this vlog. I appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video. This is a passion project, and I'm just trying to do the best I can.